For the post-1994 generation, the struggle may be something of an abstract concept, so it's important that the courageous individuals who provided the driving force of the liberation movements should be remembered as real people. Mani Ben Sita is one of them, and it was fitting that her 90th year was marked with a public celebration, which also featured the launch of a book with a theme inspired by her example. Mani Ben Sita was born into a politically active family, but even this would not have predicted the fearless and determined role she would play in the Passive Resistance Campaign, the Defiance Campaign, and later the United Democratic Front and her selfless commitment to the cause of democracy earned her a place in the ranks of struggle heroes. Her 90th birthday was a milestone worth celebrating and it inspired an event at Freedom Park in Shwane. 1927 was a quiet year in South Africa, but it saw the birth of Mani Ben Sita, who was in no way quiet in South African history. She was courageously vocal and active in her opposition to apartheid so her 90th birthday celebration is something we are very excited to be attending. The haunting tone of the Vina evoked a contemplative mood, but for friends and comrades, Money Ben is not just a name to be given respectful mention, but a vibrant figure who continues to be a role model and a source of inspiration. Vani, for the benefit of our younger viewers who may not know Mani Ben Sita, could you give us some background? Mani Ben was a teacher by profession, and because of her anti apartheid activities, Mani Ben was ostracized for that. And so she was posted in various little clean dorpies and put just as punishment, and that's how they worked before. You know, if you went against the government, you had to pay for it. But she, she, she stood all that. And Mani Ben is a remarkable woman. She served her many sentences, time in prison. She's taken part in many ma women's marches, marches against apartheid. To us, Mani Ben is an icon. Why did you decide to combine the book launch and the birthday celebrations? It's a celebration. We're celebrating this diverse, beautiful community we have. <laughs> The cultural program included classical dance by local performers. In addition to celebrating Mani Ben's birthday, the event also marked the launch of a book entitled I Am I, which showcases the creative work of some 30 South African women. Hasina Azmuth of Women Without Limits sketched the background. Hasina, how did the idea for the event come about? Jenny Dalwood, a woman from the uh, community, has come up with this amazing absolutely beautiful idea of putting the women in the community together in this book. This book is about uh, their achievements and how they have made huge milestones in the community. Deputy Minister Fatima Johan delivered the keynote address. And as women particularly, I think that it's important for us to think about how we ourselves have been grown. In your opinion, what example has Mani Ben Sita set for young South Africans? For me, as a woman, I think that Mani Ben has been one of those heroes of our struggle that uh, should be celebrated throughout the annals of history. Advancing years haven't robbed Mani Ben of a fervor to see a free, just, and united nation. Because this gathering is representative of what South Africa should be. Then it was time for the guest of honor to blow out the candles before sharing her memories and views with Zaki. Who inspired you to become an activist? I read Mahatma Gandhi's My Experiments with Truth, where he speaks about his life in South Africa and how the women folk took part in the Satyagraha campaigns of 1906 to 1914. That inspired me. Later in India, when they were fighting the British government for India's independence, then our Indian woman took a very brave stand. The whole Nehru family's women folk took part in the struggle and lots of other women took part. All that inspired me very greatly to think that not, they didn't leave all the fighting for freedom to the men only, but they felt they had to do their share. What message do you have for South Africans? They must read more. What they can learn from reading, and especially reading books of great people, 
they will not have that sort of education in any other manner. As the title suggests, I am I is an affirmation of individual identity, focusing on the thoughts and experiences of women of Indian origin in post-apartheid South Africa. All the women whose ideas and creativity are featured in the book come from Shwane, and each one of them is imbued with a spirit of empathetic independence so dear to Money Ben's heart. It is a publication that shatters the stereotype of the Indian woman as a passive and silent bystander and forms part of a longer-term social cohesion project. Overall, the message of the day resonated with everyone who attended the event. It's important to salute uh, people like uh, Mani Ben Sita because of the way she has fought for our country. Mani Ben Sita has been an inspiration to, I think, all women. Uh, she, at her age, she's really so feisty and she's still very active. Today we celebrated Mani Ben Sita and many of the women that she inspires. Happy birthday, Mani Ben, and thank you.